I'm a blow up. 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 What's up, YouTube? It's Thomas Bean. I'm back at it again with a new video, but this time. It's gonna be a little different than all the other ones. It's gonna be a little bit more serious. Cause I got some stuff to say and might as well just start talking about it. Right. So we're gonna talk about friends and friendships and stupid things like that that don't friendships that are bad, that don't make sense, and that you know are just not good for you, but you keep trying to go back to them just because you feel like if you do go back to them. You can probably change the situation, but really, you really can't. Okay, so let me just explain the whole situation and kind of give you the timeline of this story that I'm trying to tell you. So a couple days ago, I got you know, it's my day off, and I'm just enjoying myself, and having fun with my family, and relaxing, and all the stuff that's cool that I like to do. But... Hmm. And then, I get a phone call from one of my friends. She's upset, and she seems like, just upset. So when she starts talking, I'm like, oh, what's going on, blah, blah, whatever, the same old, same old. And she says, I'm a great fan that I broke up with a long time ago, and... He moved to different places and then the same state as us, blah, 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 blah. He keeps calling me and he keeps stalking me, basically, harassing me, but for some reason, I just keep letting him come back. I keep letting him in my heart because I do things like that. That don't make sense. <laughs> and me, I'm just like, oh, I don't know what I can do for you. Just, you know, try to block him and stuff. And then she says, well, I did block him, but then I unblocked him because I want to be my fan still. And I know that he's, um... A better person than what you're putting on and he's a good person that's going to be friends with him. And I say, oh, yeah, that doesn't really make sense. He's like over the top harassing you, though. He's calling you nonstop. Your phone's blowing up. You can't even do anything on your phone without him popping up and being there. And then he's um, messaging other people, other loved ones of yours, like your friends, your siblings, and stuff. And, He's even her messaging me. And she goes, I know Thomas, but I'm a nice person and I just like to give people a chance and give them opportunities so they can change. Even though I gave him like a thousand opportunities to change, he still hasn't changed, but I'm giving him more opportunities because I like to do things like this. <laughs> and I'm saying, okay, wow. I don't know what to tell you, maybe call your comp your phone company get so they can like try to block him off there. You might have to go to the police because he's threatening people's lives and other stuff like that. And you're still not unblocking him, you're still not getting rid of him. There's something wrong there. And she's constantly just like, okay. We finally get off him and that subject and I, cause I tell her I don't know what to do for you because everything I'm saying you're not really listening to. So we move on and then she starts talking about But she starts talking about, I know people are talking about me though, because I've been seeing it, or I've been hearing about it, or whatever, or they're talking, but they're only saying the stuff that you told them, because apparently she's been doing some stuff lately that's questionable, and she's, with the, she's hanging out with a whole new group of people that is different, but anyway, she started hanging out with these new people, her personality is changing, her attitude is changing, she's becoming completely different, and now she's different but whatever she was doing for these past three five days something like that it led to her being getting extremely tired and becoming very sleep deprived so she had to end up calling off from her job which is like that, okay that happens yeah we get it you get sick you get sleep deprived you get something happens you have to call off right but when she did, it led to people saying things. Apparently the timeline of when she told them didn't match up with the timeline of what the, they're actually saying she was doing something, if that makes sense. So she got upset about that and I said, well you really can't be mad that someone so-and-so is saying 
that you're doing this stuff if you're telling them that you're actually doing the stuff. Now, the fact that they got the day wrong or the time period wrong, that's on them. But the fact that you said you actually been doing this and it led, it must have let, all this actually led up to you being tired and you being exhausted that you couldn't go to your job. So, you really can't be mad. There's no reason for you to be mad. And she's still going on and on and on the phone. And I think she wanted me to be, just to be sitting there and be like, Right, I got your back. Right, everything you do is right, and everything you do is correct. Now I'm always gonna be here to say, go on, have fun. I think she wanted me to say that because she started saying stuff like, oh, see, the one time I have fun, the one time I have fun is too much for anyone to handle, and shame on me because I want to have fun once in my life, and it's just all this crazy stuff. I'm like, no one's knocking on you for having fun. Like everyone, everyone wants to have fun in their life. Everyone wants to do something once in a while, and just be a little spontaneous and a little wild. But the fact that you feel negative about it and you feel unhappy about the situation means, and then you're mad at everyone else, you should only be mad at yourself because you did all the stuff that they're saying, just maybe not on the same day. That's the only thing that's, that is the only thing that's wrong in the storyline is that they gave you the wrong date or they said the wrong date. You openly admitted to doing the stuff that you said you did. So, I don't understand. And there is no reason for her to be angry with me because I've done nothing to make her angry with me. The friendship scandal. I keep saying the same thing to her on the phone, and she's being upset, and then she starts crying, and then she goes, Well, Thomas, it's not this, I just want to have fun in my life, and these people that I hang out with, let me have fun. They let me be me. They let me do what I want to do. And when I'm with you, Thomas, I really can't because I'm the one driving, and when we go places, I really can't do the stuff I want to do because I just can't with you. And I said, Mmm. Which, that didn't make me angry, but it got under my skin because I'm like, okay, I'm not the one that always wants to go to the club. I'm not the one that always wants to do this and this. Me, if anyone knows me, I'm the one that would just like to chillax in the bed, watch TV, watch a movie, eat some food, play the video game, and call it a night. Like, I'm not the one that to go out all the time and be just wild. Now, when I get to the club and I'm getting a couple drinks in me, then hell yeah, I'm about to get wild and get crazy. What I'm trying to say is I don't have to do that. Like, I can do other things and have fun. But, she starts crying on the cell phone, and then I'm just like, didn't mean to make you sad, but there's not much I can do. I'm not going to sit here and just baby you up so you can be feeling like you everything you're doing is correct. Because the people you, to be completely honest, and to be 100%, the people you're hanging out with, they ain't shit, and they bad. They just bad news. Around town, they bad news. Everyone that you that you see, and everyone I talk to about these people, they, they all say the same thing. Like, if everyone's saying it, it got to be true. They're my friends. They're my friends, don't tell me. They're my friends. They're my bunk bed buddies. They're my bunk bed buddies. They're my friends. No. <laughs> After this video, shit, the friendship's probably over. But just like this friendship, I'm about to be up Audi because I'm about to go to sleep. I have to go to work in the morning, so. <laughs> Peace!